Because the Lord is going to restore everything. You're going to have a total different vibration on the earth. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. And in the kingdom, we're not just going to have one woman. We're going to have many women. You know, this bullshit today where you only allowed it just one woman and that's it. No, we're going to have plenty of women. You know, back in the days, we thought the same thing. Oh, you're going to be my top woman in the kingdom. You're going to be the top chick, you know, blah, 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 this, that, that. That's all bullshit. You know, we're going to be the shit. You know, so to speak. You know, underneath you, how about Shem, how shy? Because the scriptures, look, man, the Israelite man has been beaten down way too, too long. You know, the Israelite man has been beaten down way too long. And it's about time for the Israelite man to be the one to get pampered. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. The women already got their glow and their shine in this world. We're going to be the ones that's going to be shining. And we're going to be the ones that are going to be precious. More precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. So the greatest and the top gold on the planet, we're going to be far more admired and precious than that. You know, because the real man, which is an Israelite man, a man of the Lord, is going to be highly sought after. You know? So forget about all, you know, forget about these these uh, women that we get here. These women that we get here are, are used, used goods. First Corinthians 11. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of God. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is God, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of God is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. But that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman. For all things of God, judging yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. So we're being restored, but we're not going to be restored to what we used to have. We're going to be restored to something even better. And this is why the second covenant, which was established upon better promises, is a better fit for us.